A relationship with God starts right here in your house. And as you know, a required a requirement of Orthodox Christians is to pray seven times a day. You know, we all have busy lives and school and work and all these other things and you know, sometimes people say, you know, there's just no time for that so they don't pray at all, but uh, personally I try to at least uh, pray before I go to sleep. And sometimes if I can in the morning. Uh, it's one of the most beautiful things a person can ever experience. That relationship they have with God. They, they really start developing a relationship when they talk to God every day, every morning and every night. At, uh, at all times when I'm praying and uh, this is very important I got this from uh, from Egypt from the monastery and uh, of course the Holy Bible in English and I also have one in Arabic if uh, my dad wants to read it or anybody else who can read it is over here we have the, uh, the Holy Agbeya, which is the uh, Coptic prayer book. And again, I have it in all three languages, as you can see. Uh, also over here, I wear this. Uh, this is a cross that was uh, given to me from a, from a priest, who a priest gave it to him. Long time ago, for 20 years. So uh, many priests have worn this. I also have a prayer hat that the uh, priests wear, and uh, it has little crosses on it. And I usually wear it to symbolize getting all the bad thoughts away from my head uh, during time of prayer. I also have a Catholic rosary. The uh, the rosary that I got is actually a little. Uh, in the Quds, in the Holy Land, and um, I use it during the Matanians. I can. It's a really nice piece to have uh, in your little church at home. I also have uh, holy oil. Uh, this is uh, holy oil and frankincense and soil from the Quds also. Um, over here, I have um, more. Ho I have holy oil right here. This is uh, Saint Mina's holy oil that I keep, and I anoint myself with it after prayer. 
Um, a sharp right there for uh, any women uh, who are praying here. Um, as it is required of them to cover their heads when they pray. So you accommodate for everybody. Also, sometimes when I want to do uh, tizbiha, which is beautiful if you have a lot of people, uh, uh, especially in uh, in Coptic and in Arabic, it's beautiful. Um, I have the book uh, here ready to, to be used. And, uh, of course, the Lord's Prayer. Introduction to every hour and uh, the Lord's Prayer, then the uh, prayer of thanksgiving, uh, then always uh, Psalm 50, and then uh, I go to whichever hour we're up to the first hour. Let's see, right now it's night time, so let's forward a little. A prayer of midnight. At midnight, uh, and, uh, so uh, then we go from uh, there to uh, say this right here, and uh, then usually because there's so many psalms, um, depending. Well, first you have to depend on which which watch you want to do. Um, so every every night at midnight, I will do the first watch, and then. Um, the next day I'll do the second watch, and then the next day I'll do the third watch, etc. Um, and then start over. Um, usually the way I pick the psalms is because I, I don't do them all. Of course, if you can do them all, it's wonderful. But uh, the way I do it is, it's kind of like, uh, you know, a birthday is coming up, and you go to the uh, store, and you want to buy, a, like, a birthday card. And you look through them, and you pick the one that you feel expresses how you feel about that loved one. Um, usually if I go to a, uh, you know, my dad's birthday is coming up, I go read all the cards, and when I find the one that really sounds like it's coming from me, that's the one I get him. And it's the same thing when I pray. I choose the Psalms that I feel, that I feel for, that I'm, that I feel like I'm talking to God through. Um, And then uh, after after that, I do the uh, the Kirelaisons, the Matonias, um, forty one times. And uh, there are four Matonias. You gotta go all the way down and up, and all the way down and up, and you bow down. And then you uh, you do the conclusion of every hour, and uh, and you're done. But then the important part comes where I close the Agbeya and I mainly look up at the icon of Christ and I start uh, talking, praying uh, my own prayers um, and just talking to God as if he's right in front of me. Um, and I talk to the saints. And um, after that, I, uh, I say our Father one more time. And I anoint myself with the holy oil. And I go to sleep.